More elevated levels of lead found in Newark school buildings. 30 had already tested positive for high lead levels. CBS 2's Janelle Burrell has more from one of the latest schools affected. Many Newark school parents frustrated and baffled. How long have officials known lead was in the water and how long were their children exposed? It's crazy for the kids to go through that because, you know, some kids, they don't carry bottled water. They, you know, they depend on the schools. The most recent round of testing took samples from eight non traditional school facilities in the district. Samples were taken from all 324 sources of water in the buildings. A quarter of the samples came back with elevated levels. 17 of the contaminated samples were from drinking water sources. Ten of those samples came from drinking water here at Newark Legacy Charter School, which had already taken preemptive action when news broke last month that other facilities had high lead levels. We immediately turned off all of our water sources and we switched to bottled water at that time, uh, and we contracted our own independent environmental expert to come out and test the water. COO Annette Riffle says their own independent testing found the water to be safe. They're now retesting but already have an overhaul underway. Our school is actually moving to a, uh, a filtration system, a high-end water filtration system called reverse osmosis. So we're in the process of installing that now. They did a very good job. They got bottled water to our kids. They were very proactive in making sure our children are safe. And I do not want the school to get a bad rep. It is the government. It is the city. City officials insist the water is safe and that it's the old pipes causing the contamination. They continue to offer free blood tests to students but some parents, like Shayna Torres, say they don't trust the city to test their kids. Of the 17,000 students eligible, only 300 have so far used the service. I will not take my children to the same people that caused the problem. That would be ridiculous. Newark School District officials say they will be releasing weekly updates about the water testing. They also say that they'll be releasing lead test results dating back to 2012 in an effort to remain transparent. Reporting from Newark, Janelle Burrell, CBS 2 News. 15 parts per billion is the acceptable level of lead in water. Some of the samples had 10 times that amount.